Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. Now verse nine, it says, do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger. You have always been my helper. We don't want God to turn his back on us, do we? No, we don't want the Lord to reject us in anger, do we? Absolutely not. Because he says, David David says, you have always been my helper, Lord. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me, O God of my salvation. He's the God of our salvation. If you're trapped in any bondage right now, I encourage you, cry out right now. Pause this video, turn this video off and say, God, I need your help. I'm trapped in the bondage of sin and I can't get out. I'm tired of falling prey to this addiction. Lord, will you help me? I'm tired of acting this way. Lord, will you help me? I repent of it. I know it's sin. I know I'm guilty before you, but God, will you help me? I don't want to live like this anymore. He's your helper. He doesn't want to abandon you. He wants to help you. And may he hear your cry. It says, he's the God of our salvation. Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. So even if you have earthly parents or earthly family or friends, or whatever, and people desert you, the Lord will hold you close. And your confidence comes from that. You have to have a true living reality that Jesus is here. Jesus sees you. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. So live for him. Live for him and enjoy that fellowship that he will give you in the Holy Spirit. 